Hello everyone, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can achieve a D star, D star, D star in B Tech IT effortlessly. Now, why should you even watch this video? Well, because few years ago I was in the shoes and I have achieved D star, D star, D star. These are all the tips that I wish I had when I was first starting my B Tech Level 3 qualification. Now, these tips will apply to those who are studying B Tech as well as to those who are studying A level. So, doesn't matter which one you're studying. Tip number one, make friends with those who are studying year above you. Now this is quite obvious and quite straightforward. At college you have to have friends from the same year group because otherwise it's very lonely and very boring in lesson. But also make friends from year 13 because they have done your same content just one year ago so they remember basically everything about it and they have faced your same obstacle that you are right now facing. Also, they know how to any shortcuts, any any way to get to score more marks, any tricks, any stuff. So yeah, make sure you meet few people from your 13 because they can help you in notes, in coursework, in exams, or anything. So any issue you have, you can ask them, and they they, they will most likely help you. So for instance, when I was in year 12, I had an assignment on database unit or database module, whichever you want to call it, about designing database using I think um, Access software and then making it in the MySQL. But anyway, I, I didn't know much about it and I had uh, no idea on how to do it because there was no clue. So therefore I asked my friend and yeah, so I got help. So they showed me how to do it and they showed me their database. So that was much easier to understand for me. And also in web development uh, unit, the assignment brief was very much uncomprehensible and there was no guide, no help. So therefore I asked my friend and they showed me their website they had made. Uh, including what software they have used and everything about it. So uh, guys, knowing somebody who has done your work before is so much helpful guys. And therefore I highly recommend you to get, to meet at least few people, at least one if possible, or not two or even more than that in year 13. Tip number two, learn about your teacher preferences and what they exactly look for on coursework. Now you should have more than one teacher and each of them will have a different opinion, different personality, different uh, judgment on coursework. And uh, so what you have to be doing is you have to understand what they're looking for because some might prefer an essay-like coursework and other might prefer a simple, a very straightforward with just a minimum word and that's it. So it all depends on them and you have to make sure to understand them very well and just make sure that you really make your coursework more likable to them, right? So if they want a straightforward one, just give them straightforward one. If they want a very fancy with all full of fancy word and keyword and stuff like that, make sure you give the appropriate one. Number three, search coursework on Google. Now searching coursework on Google is not a bad thing. It's not a criminal activity. And it's okay, you can search coursework on Google and you can look for inspiration from other people. Look at their bullet point, look at their subheadings, their headings and uh, the pictures and how they have styled, how they have written their paragraph, right? It's fine. What is not fine is if you copy them, because that is absolutely not fine. And you're gonna be penalized for it. So therefore, make sure not to copy, but to get inspiration from other people. And yeah, so just write in your own work. And if your teacher doesn't want you to look uh, other people's work in lesson, then you can do it at home, yeah? But it's okay to uh, look at other people's coursework online. Because look, thousands of people have done the same exact qualification and same exact specification before you. So your idea is never gonna be unique. And it's fine to get inspiration from other people. Forty, read assignment brief and understand it fully. Now, if there is one thing that you have to fully comprehend is assignment brief because your teacher will have the same thing to mark you, right? So your teacher will have assignment brief and they will mark from there. So make sure that you understand word by word on the assignment brief. Totally comprehend them. If there is just one word that you are not understanding, it, ask someone, ask your teacher or ask your friend. If you not follow the assignment brief or if you miss out some point, then you're gonna be penalized for it. You're not gonna get full mark for it. And there'll be a teacher who does not give a comprehensive feedback. So you will not be able to understand what's missing and what's wrong with your coursework and why you didn't get full mark. Now the last and final tip, this is not a tip and this is just me saying it to you guys for fun and for joke. But yeah, if you have a very difficult teacher who does not like your coursework, and who always give you feedback things like uh, include more uh, keywords or more, more sub terminology or include more elevated language, things like that. What you can do is you can write your coursework in plain English as you normally do and then use tool like paraphrasing tool to make it more elegant, more sounding like more dramatic and full of fancy, all those complicated words. I don't recommend you, but guys, I've done it in the past few times and <laughs> that did work. So yeah, it's up to you. But guys, if you do it, don't tell your teacher that I recommended you guys because I don't recommend it. And that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you like it and found it interesting. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Guys, I will see you in future.